and colleagues publish important new findings. We've known for many years that there is a clinical syndrome that identifies young people who are at risk for psychosis. One of the concerns, however, is the high rate of false positives. Many individuals who present with this clinical syndrome do not go on to develop psychosis. Ho and colleagues use an electrophysiologic marker that they relate to this clinical syndrome and they provide important suggestive findings that this electrophysiology marker also might provide insights about which youth are most at risk to transitioning towards psychosis. Thank you.